Hey everybody, um, this is just a short video uh, for my 300 like um, contest on my Facebook page. Uh, if you go to my Facebook page and you like it, uh, Pagan Possibilities, I will put a link in the sub bar below. Um, if you go and like it and we reach 300 links before Ostara at midnight, I'm going to do a giveaway and I'm going to show so far what I've got to put in the giveaway box. Um, I'll probably keep adding stuff until the day of the drawing itself, um, but uh, for right now this is what I've got. Uh, to start out I've got two white candles and this really cool star candle holder. I've got four black votive candles for banishing and things like that. I know black candles are kind of hard to find, so when I find them I stock up on them, so I thought I'd pass some along. Um, I'm going to give you, and I know this is going to be a little weird, but this right here, it's a railroad spike. Um, I live near the railroad, and I find them all the time just laying in the dirt, and uh, when I'm out watch walking my dogs, they're made of iron. Iron is very good for grounding. It's good for um, earth magic, um, since it's got to be mined from the earth. It is a good symbol of the earth if you want to use it on your altar or whatever. I tend to use it for a lot of different things. Um, it's also a protective uh, element, so um, you can use it for that. Um, I've got a small white bag here full of some crystals. I've got a piece of moss agate. I've got a piece of jade. Um, rose quartz. Smoky quartz. Clear quartz. And then some really small ones. I've got, um, this is rainbow moonstone or white labradorite. This is a piece of regular moonstone. <clears throat> and then I've got two small pieces which actually have holes drilled in them. Um, I don't even remember where I got these, but they are red hair quartz. Um, you'll have to do some research if you want to know what there's a use for. So, um, that is the crystals. I'm um, also going to give away four bottles of anointing oils that I make. Um, that's these. There's one here for Ostara, one for Litha, one for um, Mabon, and one for Yule. So the four major uh, Sabbaths of the year. Uh, you'll be covered as far as those go for anointing candles, or your altar, or yourself, or people in your coven, whatever. Um, I just made these this past week, and they're fun little bars of soap. Um, they are full of sandalwood oil and frankincense and myrrh in, uh, resin powder. So they smell really awesome. I call these my Egyptian king soaps. Um, they're small bars, but you know they're they're pretty cool and they smell really nice. So I thought I'd throw one of those in. Just got those finished. Um, I'm also going to throw in 11 bags of herbs, and I've got bay leaves, I've got some acorns that I wildcrafted, I've got some dried orange peel, I've got um, calendula, I've got valerian root which I grew and harvested myself um, in my gardens, um, I've got some dried pumpkin seeds which I also grew and harvested. Um, this is my protection herbal incense blend that I make. Um, you can use that in your rituals. Um, this is blessing powder. This has 42 different herbs and 13 different essential oils in it. So um, it's just good for when you need some more blessings in your life. Um, if you want to use it in spells, you can use it in as incense. You can use it, um, you know. Uh, wear it in a small bottle around your neck uh, just to bring more blessings into your life, that kind of thing. Um, I've got a bag of oak moss here, um, some white willow bark, and last but not least, some stinging nettle. Um, like I said, I will probably continue to um, look for more things that I want to add to this box. But for right now, that's it. Um, pretty good haul so far. Like I said, I'm going to keep looking until Ostara. You've got until Ostara at midnight to go to my Facebook page, which I will put the link for down below, and like it. Um, we get to 300 subscribers, and I will do a drawing. I will put all of the subscribers' names in, and it will be a random drawing. There will be one winner, 
And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's all you got to do is go to my Facebook page, Pagan Possibilities, and like it. Um, follow the link below. Uh, blessed be.